So the Volvo XC60 comes with a G6 engine which is a 2 liter 4 cylinder inline but a turbocharged and a supercharged engine and as a result of that this is what happens like if you can hear the superchargers whining and the, 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 the whistling noise that it makes oh it's just amazing now this engine produces 320 brake horsepower a 2 liter engine produces 320 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque and every single power you can feel when you press the throttle i mean this car is supposed to be an suv but the way it behaves it's amazing this this engine is super responsive i mean although there is a lag at the start which is about half a second when you press the throttle but if you go gradual but if you float the pe pe pedal if you float the pedal it takes a while to react but if you go gradually it's an amazing build up of speed and power now mated to this uh, engine is an eight speed automatic transmission which gives you pretty flawless gear shifts and even the paddle shifts are pretty smooth if you try to use them the overall system is quite quite efficient in the way it works so i i think this is pretty much a very very sufficient kind of engine and the gearbox setup that you need although the off-road capabilities are not very impressive is what i would say because I get the fact that this is not a, a, a fully fledged SUV which can do everything although it's a it, it has a four wheel drive transmission and the power delivery between all the four wheels is quite amazing and the, the calculation that it does to make sure that all the all the wheels have sufficient power and traction all the time is quite good now coming to the steering steering is something in which in which i have not really been impressive because it feels all over the place and it and it just doesn't give you the sensation of the car itself i mean i know this car is an suv and it weighs quite a bit but still the the steering tries to disguise the whole weight and sometimes it just doesn't respond at all or sometimes it just feels very floaty where it's just going on the surface i am not getting any feedback from the the surface itself and also the handling itself is is a bit understeery i would say and i i think apart from that the the steering no doubt feels good but it still takes a while to respond and then it feels a little lazy when you try to turn around like for example here when i tried to do a turn it, it, it just takes a little while to you know take the direction but otherwise it's quite smooth and it's also to do with the fact that the suspension are on the softer side and even the ride quality is pretty brilliant because it's a, it's a pretty soft setup and as a result of that you get a very comfortable ride and because of the comfortable ride there is a bit of roll as well and that is i think where the handling capabilities are also affected in this car and continuing with the brakes you get four disc brakes and the the, the disc brakes are are functioning as it they should be and even the abs and and the braking systems which is your electronic brake distribution and your electronic brake assist they work quite well to make sure that you get uh, efficient braking system all the time and even the pet uh, the the pedal system is pretty responsive as you can see i am taking a u-turn now and the steer the turning radius is actually pretty small in 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 the in a car this big which is actually very surprising and i th i think it's 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 the whole setup is pretty nicely made where you wouldn't find and plus the the luxury around will make sure that all these points are pretty uh, small when you compare to a day-to-day -day usage as well now in terms of uh, the nvh levels they are pretty good in here because uh, considering that it's it's got a two liter engine which is turbocharged and supercharged and to keep all the noise out of the car and also when you're going around at 100 120 140 to be able to keep the noises out 
Volvo has done a pretty good job. The whole car feels pretty robust, pretty solidly made and it's quite visible when you sit inside because the, the quality of materials is, is pretty nice. It's, it's just amazing and even the glass and everything. In fact, they have the active noise cancellation system in the car itself, meaning that you uh, you won't uh, the, the 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 noises are always kept in check so that they don't enter into the cabin as well and even when you are accelerating i can only hear the whistling noise from the supercharger but otherwise it's literally nothing now i'll admit that volvo i wasn't really familiar with the brand before but once i drove the xc40 and now this xc60 i am pretty impressed with the with the volvo systems and when you talk about the volvo systems the safety system is something that you cannot miss and this car is filled with a ton of safety systems and in fact i may miss a lot of systems to be to to be mentioned in this video as well but to start off with you get two airbags for the passenger and the driver there are curtain airbags there are also side airbags there are, there is also a driver knee airbag as well there is the volvo intellisafe system which is your camera system and also the lane assist system which is all working with the intellisafe system so it makes sure that when you're in the assist pilot mode which which this car has basically so it's, this car has an adaptive cruise control and the assist pilot system so in the assist pilot system what the car does is it will be, all you have to do is keep your hands on the steering wheel and all 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 the car will do is make sure that it keeps the the desired speed and the distance that you said and also it will make sure that you uh, you stick to the lane as well and so the car will do everything on its own you don't have to do any single thing just let the car do its thing and it will just make sure the car is within the safe limits and it is driving uh inside the lane and all of the minor corrections and everything will be done by the car itself and it works quite well i mean i i was so surprised initially i was a bit hesitant to to give the the control to the computer i mean come on like i i can judge that quite well but then this system was doing it uh, quite similar to how a normal human being would drive as well making sure that uh, the, the the threats it would keep in mind and everything but enough of all of that safety systems and then moving on there are uh, also the ABS system there is electronic brake system there is electronic brake distribution another point to be added in the safety system was the glass now the rear view mirror is so big and it fully covers there are literally no borders on the rear view mirror and all my three mirrors are actually they they sort of dim at night and also the sunroof during the day dims so that the the, the sun rays don't get into the car and your car doesn't heat up as well and it works quite well there is also a whiplash uh, system protection system and i am so glad that volvo has put that in this system as well the last that i remember was the in the honda city that they had put a whiplash system and same happens out here anyways if you want to watch my honda city review video you can click on the link out here the pop-up banner out here and make sure to check that video out anyway so that's the whiplash system there is also hill assist control system there is there are numerous systems on this car which will make you feel pretty safe in this car and again i have always been a fan of volvo safety system because they always keep the passengers and the drivers in mind and they make sure there is no compromise on the safety system and this is where they they get all the brownie points by the way now is this car worth it i mean i would say yes this is this car is very much worth it because a few niggles here and there i mean every car has some personality disorders yes i would say that personality disorders and this car has its own share of it but not enough that you shouldn't be considering buying this car now let me rate the car into different categories so that you have a better idea to judge this car so in terms of driving uh, uh, this car because of the handling i i think it it lacks that area but if that can be improved but overall I, I think the and also the seats because they are sport seats and and they are a bit hard during during a long journey as well so 
uh, because of that i would give this car a three out of five in terms of driving in terms of exterior the the look has been pretty refreshed uh, like how the xc40 has been and the the whole new look and the lineup of cars look pretty impressive and as a result of that this car gets a 3.5 out of 5 now in terms of safety systems again there is no question about not saying uh, not giving a lot of points to volvo because it it is it is sort of the 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 benchmark for pretty much all the manufacturers out uh, out there so i think uh, in terms of safety system this car would get a strong 4 out of 5 in terms of interior because the interior quality is supreme except the few plastic bits if they can change and 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 the seats and seats if they can make a little more softer and because of that the uh, uh, it gets a 3.5 out of 5 and because the there is a, a the infotainment system and again i don't like the fact that ac controls aren't outside and they are in the screen and i don't like that and as a result of that the 3.5 out of 5 so i think in uh, uh, in terms of pricing this car starts somewhere between 170000 dirhams and upwards and uh, for the price i think this car deserves a 3.5 out of 5 again and in overall i think this car gets a 3.5 out of 5 which is a very good score and I think you should definitely check this car out if you're planning to buy the BMW, uh, if you're considering to buy this category uh, of SUV, which, which comes into the BMW X3 and the Audi Q5. So make sure to check this car out as well, which is the XC60 T5 R design all wheel drive. And make sure to check the T6 engine because this is just amazing. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to watch more videos click here anyways until we meet next time bye bye